The world's most powerful rocket and the Orion space capsule were meticulously prepared for a second attempt at a launch today. But once more, a leak was detected. The team now going into the cutoff procedure. And safety protocols kicked in. Launch Director Charlie Blackwell Thompson just called uh, a scrub. It is a disappointment for the Artemis program, but this was always designed as a test flight. And even with no astronauts aboard, safety came first. We'll go when it's ready. Uh, we don't uh, go until then, and especially now on a test flight, because we're going to stress this and test it. NASA is heavily invested in the Artemis program that will take men and for the first time women to the moon and eventually to Mars and beyond. When it does launch, as this NASA animation shows, it will be a remarkable moment. The beginning of a new era of human space exploration with the Orion capsule designed for journeys into deep space. And liftoff. The delay of the Artemis program contrasts with the success of the Ariane launch on Christmas Day that lofted NASA's James Webb telescope into its position one million miles from Earth. The telescope is now returning remarkable imagery and invaluable science for the first time. Now NASA has the challenge of ensuring human space exploration, the Artemis program, matches the stunning success of its unmanned missions. Robert Moore, ITV News, in the United States.